Good afternoon. Thank you, and welcome to St. Joseph of the Lakes on this 11th Saturday in Ordinary Time. My name is Misha Johnson, and our presider will be Father Ken Pierre, assisted by Deacon Tom Conkle. The announcements today are as follows. Archbishop Hebda has reinstated the Sunday Mass obligation starting on July 1st in Minnesota. This date marks the end of the dispensation. It also marks the end of drive-up communion at St. Joe's. We will only offer drive-up communion through the end of June. Also, all youth who have completed 6th grade through 12th grade are invited to Water Balloon Madness, Thursday, June 24th in the Pavilion at St. Joe's at 7 p.m. Please see the bulletin for more details. The parish and greeter community come together on Saturday and Sunday, August 7th and 8th at the Summer Festival. Keep selling those grand raffle tickets and pick up more if you need them, as proceeds go to, in part, to technology and security improvements here at St. Joe's as we bring St. Joe's back to the future. Raffle tickets are available for pickup in the gathering space, and we are excited about this year's prize list. The grand prize is not one, but two Aventon electric bikes and an accessory gift certificate from Eric's Bikes. Other prizes include a $2,000 travel voucher, outdoor and electronic equipment, as well as items for your home and cash for a total of 24 different prizes and chances of winning. The silent auction committee would love to have all items dropped off by the end of June, as we do need extra time to put baskets together and get them ready to put online before the festival. Like the sower in today's gospel, we scatter as we seed our gifts of time, our talent, and our resources. And we can trust that by God's grace and in God's time, these small gifts of ourselves will grow and flourish and help to bring about the kingdom of God. At this time, I would like to invite you to please stand and greet those with whom you are now worshiping. Now, please join us in singing our gathering song, number 778. Again, that is number 778, Anthem. <laughs> And what can we believe in no one else but Christ who suffered? Nothing more than Christ who rose, who was justice for the poor, who was rage against the night, who was hope for peaceful people, who was light. We are called, we are chosen, we are Christ for one another, we are promised to tomorrow. Our one. 
hot enough for you? <laughs> That's what our corn looked like. It can help us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Spirit be with you all. Thank you. And we ask God to heal our world, our nation, our internation, our church, our parish, our families, ourselves. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And we sing our praise. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore. Strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you mortal nor um, frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I too will take from the crest of the cedar, from its topmost branches tear off a tender shoot, and plant it on a high and lofty mountain. On the mountain heights of Israel I will plant it. It shall put forth branches and bear fruit and become a majestic cedar 
Birds of every kind shall dwell beneath it, every winged thing in the shade of its boughs. And all the trees of the field shall know that I, the Lord, bring low the high tree, lift high the lowly tree, wither up the green tree, and make the withered tree bloom. As I, the Lord, have spoken, so will I do. The word of the Lord. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless God's name. Bless the Lord and forget not God's benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. God pardons all your iniquities and comforts your sorrows, redeems your life from destruction, and crowns you with kindness. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. is our God, slow to anger, abounding in kindness. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are always courageous, although we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Yet we are courageous, and we would rather leave the body and go home to the Lord. Therefore, we aspire to please him, whether we are at home or away. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each may receive recompense according to what he did in the body, whether good or evil. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. The seed is the word of God, Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with you. 
with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day, and through it all the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord, the land yields fruit, first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God, or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that, when it is sown in the ground, is the smallest of all seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. And this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thursday was the hottest day. 97. I live in a corner house, my house, my family house, where I grew up. About 9.30 that morning, 15 high school students came to my house to paint my garage. First to scrape it, then to paint it with one of their teachers. That happened because I was sick a month before that and that teacher followed me home and saw that my garage was in bad shape and he was a, a teacher of these students and the social service people said you can't come to us because of the epidemic like Habitat for Humanity closed down. So he had to think what can I do with these 15 students, my justice class, I'm going to paint a garage. By noon, they had scraped it and painted it. I mentioned them only because they worked hard in the heat of the sun. I have a little garden, and I had been at Waldock's to buy eight tomato plants. Monday and Tuesday, they almost got blitzed. There's still, six of them are still alive. But it was those hot days, like the corn crop, that almost got too much this week. That's not what these readings are about, but they're about agriculture 
and corn crops are about agriculture. And these kids, I want to do uh, kudos to them as they worked hard. What's the reading about? The Cedars of Lebanon. First reading. It's held up as a majestic tree. That's the first part of that reading. It says, look at nature, learn from the trees. They can be beautiful. Next reading, Gospel. How does this happen? A farmer just plants a seed, doesn't know how it happens, but it grows. Even in scorching heat, it grows. First the blade, then the ear, then the grain in the ear. It all just keeps coming. And then when the harvest is ready, it's harvest time. Agriculture. What does it teach us about our God? And the third lesson is also in the gospel, and it's about the mustard seed. The seed that is first so small you can't find it, gone. But it produces a bush. Look at the front of our bulletin today. There's this mustard seed bush. So we have at least three lessons. Cypresses, how a plant grows, mustard seed. It's a symbol for the kingdom, Jesus says. Birds of the air come and make their nests in this little. So there must be some lesson in nature for us to learn from for our daily lives. That sometimes we live in the heat. What is it? Growth continues to happen. Why? Go to Isaiah. My rain will not return to me empty. My rain will produce fruit through plants with sun by the providence of God. If you want to doubt that there's a God, look at the plants. Look at nature and learn. When you knock on nature, it says yes. We don't know how. Blade grass, fruit, harvest. And God's word will be like that in our lives. The majestic cypress, the process of growth, the small becomes the kingdom. It affirms that when we do the things that are hard, in the heat of the sun, God, through rain, produces fruit. We don't doubt. Let's pray for our, our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, <clears throat> the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. 
by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who is spoken to the Father. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And we pray for the needs of our world. God entrusts us with the work of furthering the kingdom. With confidence, we pray for all that brings the kingdom to fulfillment. For the church, may it manifest patience and hope throughout the world for the fullness of God's peace and justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peoples of every nation, to advance peace and justice, caring for the hungry and marginalized. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Jake, who is baptized this weekend, and for all whose faith needs nurturing, may they find support of this parish community through prayer, teaching, encouragement, and understanding. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a spirit of sacrifice and courage as we accept our role in caring for the earth that God has given to humanity at the creation of all good things, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died of our parish and all deceased, May they receive with eager expectation the fruits of their labors. We pray to the Lord. Lord, you are there. God, who brings us all to fruition, we live in a time of planting, waiting, believing, and hoping. Give us the courage to move toward the future even when we are unsure of the outcome? Hear these are prayers and those for our archdiocese. We pray together. Loving God, who gave St. Joseph to Jesus and Mary as protector and guide, <clears throat> grant that our archdiocesan synod, under his protection and guidance, may help us discern your direction for our church. May we listen as he listened, trust as he trusted, obey as he obeyed. St. Joseph, pray for us. Mary, Mother of the Church, pray for us. Please join us together in singing number 658, Seek Ye First. Yeah. 
Please stand. <clears throat> Friends, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to the God of the garden. May the Lord. O oh God, when the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant we pray that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. And, lift them up to the Lord. and together let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sin may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And we pray for the church. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and all your ministers. Remember your servant, Al Westerhouse. Grant that he who was united with your son as a, in a death like his may also be one with him in the resurrection. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say the Lord's table prayer for the church. Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And now let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called 
to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us together now and in life everlasting. Please join us together in singing Seeds Scattered and Sown. It may be found at number 12 in the supplement in the back of the gather book.
Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Please join us together in singing number 734, Bring Forth the Kingdom. <laughs> 